we're going to talk about Christmas Nightfarer and Frozen Treasure. They appear to be linked, and um, I just don't feel like doing two videos tonight. So let's start with Christmas Nightfarer. Uh, you know, pretty story. While the, when the white snow blankets the city, the festive songs echo in every corner. They always arrive quietly, and no one knows where they have traveled in the past. One can see them, as always, wearing the red cloak adorned with colorful ornaments, holding oil lanterns capable of melting ice and snow, and wielding the magical Nightfarer's cane. They sing hymns, and for each visitor, they present gifts. So, during the event, the Christmas Nightfarers appear on the world map. You can find them to obtain oil lanterns and Nightfarer's canes, with a maximum of 10 canes per day. So once you get the 10 canes, um, if you get 10 canes, you might want to hold off on visiting anymore till the next day. And then the oil lanterns can be used to open the chests in the frozen treasure event. That's why we're going to talk about them together. Now, why do they show diamonds? Normally, when they show diamonds in the corner, it means you can buy something with them. But if you click on them, it just takes you to the to the mall. Um, I've discovered the joy of the voucher mall recently. Um, but, uh, well, yeah, I mean, because you can buy canes there. It's just, I don't know. I don't know why they use diamonds as a link. All right. Anyway, so to find, you go to the world map. And you look around. And there's one. So, 40 AP to go once, 240 AP to go six times. That is awfully high. Normally, it's only 20 AP. I've even seen it as low as 10. So, they're being really kind of mean with this one. Um, let's see. I, do I have... Yeah, I've got some brave hearts. I'll go ahead and use that. And you can just send one cavalry. Um, they're fast. You don't always find them near you. These, you know, you won't always find the, these special characters near you. And so you can just send one one cavalry person. And then let's go to system message. Visited Christmas night fair, and from that I got. Six lamps and four canes. Alrighty. Um, I'm going to go ahead and visit again. Because I think I want to go ahead and make sure I have nine lanterns. So let's find another one. Again, just a single guy. You don't actually get the message until they get back to your castle. So, yeah, I've got six more lanterns. So, it looks like you do get a lantern with every visit. Um, but out of, what was that, 12 visits, I got six canes. So, maybe a half, 50-50% chance or even less. It's hard to say. Uh, anyway. So... Now that I've got those, what am I supposed to do with them? Okay, so I obtained them. Where do I use them? In the appearance shop? Doesn't look like it. That's a good question. I'm not sure what, what we do with those. I'm not seeing a shop for them. Now anyway, let's go on to Frozen Treasure. So, Frozen Treasure. As you can see, we've got these chests. Uh, you use one oil lantern to open the chest and claim awesome rewards. Okay, after the snowfall, of something's blanketed in white. Stumble upon a treasure spot. You have to use an oil lantern to melt the snow in order to open them. You have nine chests. 
Uh, each chest, no matter the level, consumes an oil lantern. However, the rarer the chest, the greater the rewards. You get points for opening them. And you can refresh the chests for free up to one time daily. And then after that, you can consume Nightfarer's canes to... Okay, so that's what you use canes for, to refresh the chests. Upon opening all nine chests, you will receive a free refresh attempt. Okay, so it sounds like you use the oil lanterns. You can use the oil lanterns to open the chests. And of course, the better the chests, the better the rewards. If you don't want to... I'm trying to think of how to say this. So let's, let's, and they did not get their English translation here. I forgot to hit confirm. Or, okay, I guess, I, meh. So those are the rewards I've got. Now I can either open these rare chests, or I can refresh and hope that I get better chests, which I did. I got an apex chest and another epic chest. Now, if I want to refresh again, it will take a cane. So I'm trying to decide. Yeah, I think it's worth it. I don't care that much. I'm still not feeling well so I'm just kind of futzing around on stuff so I'll go ahead and just keep doing this until I run out of um, lanterns Okie dokie. And then because of the number of points I got from opening chests. What's that? Oh, I got an Ascension and Promotion Choice chest. Yay. Um, I also got these diamonds. So yay. So yeah, that, that's how it goes. Um, you can see the probabilities of the various rewards here. Uh, and the probabilities of the various, you know, okay, so the probabilities of the various type of chest, there's an 8.5% chance that you'll get an apex, 24% of an epic, and of course, rare chest, 67%, and then from each chest, you have these other probabilities of these rewards, so that's how it goes, so have fun and good luck.